The purpose of this video is to show you the value of our mortgage or debt acceleration software to your clients. Now our software is set up as a private label and this private label is a three-tiered website. The first tier is what you see now uh, which is the marketing site. Your particular site will be branded with your name up here where it says Easy Mortgage Acceleration. We'll put your logo, your company and we can make any changes to this site to personalize it to your company that you would like. Uh, this particular site is designed to teach your clients the concepts behind our software and to teach them what the software is going to ask them to do, uh, what to do with their money. Now there is an introduction tab, there's a how it works tab and a presentation tab and all of these things um, are there to teach them these principles. The free analysis, frequently asked questions and contact us are, are other things to teach them as well. Now your clients, your agents, you as administrators, you will all come here to the client login to log into the software and into your back-end website. Uh, today we're just looking at the software and I have created a client so for the sake of time so that we can look at this client and show you what the software does for this person. Now typically when someone logs in they'll need to come in and put in their financial information first. Now I've already created this client but I'm going to go ahead here and go to edit financial information and show you what that looks like. When they come in to put in their own financial information there are fields here that they need to fill out. The first thing is an acceleration account information. So they have to have an acceleration account. They have to have either a HELOC, a personal line of credit, or a savings account. When we click on this edit button, you can see that they can change this to line of credit. They can uh, make this an, an interest bearing or a savings account as well. That does change these fields and they put in the information. So they can run it with a HELOC, a line of credit. We're trying to make this so that anybody can use the software. The mortgage field asks them to put in all of their mortgage information. Uh, this will work with an interest only, a negative AM, any type of loan there is. As long as, as long as your clients are making more money than they're spending each month, the software will work with any person. The income obviously will ask them how much money they make per month. Um, they can put in every two weeks on a Friday or how often they get paid. Your expenses will ask them to itemize each expense which is basically painting a picture for them on what their money's doing for them. We find that if we can build a picture on what their money's doing for them and help them that way, they can have a lot better idea of what the software's doing for them in the long run as well. Uh, the debt section is set up so that we can put up any debt that we want, as many as you'd like. It asks for the balance on that debt the payment on that debt, the interest rate, and the day of the month that it's due. Now if you have someone that doesn't have a, 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 a mortgage and they just want to use this as a debt roll down program, we've put this in here as a suggested payoff order. So basically this is just telling them that if they pay off the medical bill and then the Honda Civic and then the Mazda, that's the best way to do it, to save them the most amount of money and to get them out of debt the quickest. So basically this is only for those people who are using the software as a debt roll down program now if they do that they'll need to come up here on the mortgage and put in zero on the principal on the balance and the payment on the mortgage information now if we go down we can see that there's also a debts and expense consolidation card which is basically allowing them to float any expenses or debts on a on a credit card for thirty to forty five days depending on the grace period on that credit card so they can utilize their income to help them pay down their debts the investment features allowing them to track any investments that they have or if they're thinking about uh, creating a new investment it tracks what that investment will do do for them for whatever amount of time that they put in there so if we come back up to the top here I just want to show you once they put in all this information they will calculate their plan once since this has already been calculated we'll just go to the detailed report now this specific page goes over all of their uh, personal financial details it goes over their line of credit details. When that line of credit, that HELOC or personal line of credit will be paid off, their total plan savings and how much money they've saved as of today, the day that they're logging in. Uh, the mortgage goes here, tells them how much money or when they are uh, going to pay off that mortgage, what their mortgage interest savings are going to be and they're obviously saved today and their effective APR. Now those people that don't have a mortgage if you come over here all their debts are listed and it shows them each debt and when that debt will be paid off using our software and how much money will be saved by paying off that that debt. Um, that's obviously going to be different amounts of numbers if you don't have a mortgage. Now if we come down further we can see that there's income and expenses here 
and it shows them everything that we put in there in the software will be will show up here it shows them their average monthly expenses is sixteen hundred dollars and their average discretionary income is hundred and nineteen dollars so this way they can kind of have an idea of how much money is left over at the end of the month and and get an idea of what they want to do with that and we have a couple charts here that may, may, be, may basically help them understand what the software is doing for them this is showing them a traditional mortgage when they would have paid off the mortgage and this is our accelerated plan if we go down further, this is an investment chart. It's showing them that what that IRA is doing at $50 a month at 5% at the end of 30 years, they'll have $41,000 in there. A mortgage investment is basically saying once we pay off your mortgage with our software, if you continue to make this $863 payment, when you should be paying off your mortgage, you'll have $304,000 in an investment account. So tracking their investments, kind of helping them understand that instead of paying off your mortgage right here, let's have all your debts paid off and let's have three hundred forty five thousand dollars in an investment account get them excited now the amortization schedule is only for those people who have a mortgage and basically it's just showing them a traditional amortization schedule opposed to an accelerated uh, schedule so if you go down to year five you can see that in a traditional mortgage we would have paid eleven thousand two hundred ninety three dollars where here we've already paid thirty four thousand dollars we would have paid forty thousand dollars in interest where here we've only paid thirty seven thousand so we're canceling interest we're paying down the principal a lot quicker now if we go back up to the top here we we want to go to the dashboard and kind of show you what the software is going to be asking your clients to do so when they log in every time they log in they'll have a little uh, report here showing them when they're gonna when they're scheduled to pay off their mortgage how much time they have left and and what their payoff date is their total savings effective APR and so on things we've looked at already this is their debt comparison showing them that chart of traditional and, and their accelerated plan and this is their income and expense chart showing them what their income is doing by, from month to month and their expenses as well now if we come down we can see that there's three different sections there's actions transacted but not reconciled there's actions that can be transacted and there are future actions now future actions are just things that are going to happen in the future it shows you the next three months of things that need to happen actions that can be transacted would be things that need to be done now since there are none on there we're gonna go ahead and fast forward a little bit to to have some show up so I can show you what would happen so pretend like we're logging in on uh, November 14th 2008 when we log in we can see that on November 14th the software is asking us to take our Novell which is our income and put it onto our HELOC $1500 now once we've done that we come here and we click transact and we let the software know that we did it. Uh, if we didn't get paid $1,500 that pay period, if it's a commission job or something, this is a, the place that we can come in and change that because we know that life changes and things um, aren't always uh, exact. Now the next thing is uh, take your spouse's income and put it onto your HELOC $500. Now one thing just to note is that on 11-14, anytime there's a, a map action, an action that needs to occur, the software is designed to text message or email the client and let them know um, what needs to be done allowing thus allowing them to not have to log in every week or uh, every other day or however often they need to to see what actions need to take place this way they can get the text message on their phone go do the action and then come in at the end of the week or the end of the month and simply click transact and and tell the software that they did it now once they do uh, each transaction they'll have all of these actions up here that need to be reconciled and all that means is just that we've already done the action however we need to come up here and, and reconcile the plan and this is when the plan will be recalculated based off what actually happened because things are going to change and and things aren't always going to be like we like them to so when they click reconcile we can't do it right now because it's the first it's not the first of the month but uh, what would happen is when they reconcile their plan the software will basically tell them what their statements um, for their mortgage and their debts and their credit cards should be at what their balances should be and then they can go in and let the software know what they actually are so if the software says your your mortgage balance should be ninety thousand but their mortgage balance is really ninety two thousand they can go in and change it and let the software know and then the plan the the uh, software will recalculate their plan based accordingly so we have a detailed report their personal information just goes over their name email things like that financial information we went over that reconcile and then the what if factor is just basically allowing them to say what if I bought a plasma screen TV or I went and bought a new car what's that going to do to my plan and they can run different scenarios through this what if factor the help button basically just goes through how to use the software and the, the website 
So that's basically it. Um, we've very we've tried very hard to create this software so that anybody can use it. So we've made it so that you can use it with a savings account. You don't necessarily need to have a home equity line of credit. We've made it possible for those people who don't have a mortgage to be able to use it as a debt roll down program and to help them out. Um, at these times in in the in the economy, we're hoping that this will create a great. Uh, plan and create a picture for people on what they're doing with their money currently and where they can be. So we hope that this will be beneficial to your clients.